What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and today is a topic that's been brought up on the official forums. I'm not sure if it's been covered on Reddit recently, uh, but it concerns the armor bonus, uh, healing done bonus, uh, and it basically wants to compare that to spell damage. Um, so somebody did some math on the official forums and while it does seem to check out, I decided to kind of take my own personal take on it just to kind of see whether or not I got very similar results or not. And I think the results you're going to see are going to be pretty surprising overall and it kind of also highlights uh, the general weakness of that general armor uh, that armor bonus here. So the armor bonus that I'm talking about is healing done. So I am on my Sork right now. It's on a different spec than the healer, uh, but I'm just going to be using this to show you guys the actual uh, armor bonuses themselves. Um, so the armor bonus that we're talking about is healing done. So let me see if I can find a set that has healing done somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to be the best option here. So here it is. So Earth Gore has a one piece 2% uh, healing done. Um, now, Healing done obviously uh, just increases the amount of healing that you do, but the best sort of next comparable armor bonus uh, would be either healing received on a tank, or if you just go on and look at healing output, it would be just raw spell damage. Um, so spell damage, the typical uh, two to three four piece bonus is 129 additional spell damage as you can see here on Netch's touch so the question is is that two percent healing done actually comparable to that to uh, 129 spell damage there's a little bit of inconsistency here and there uh, between the ritual and healing done so uh, Mundestone should be just shy of two times the strength of your typical armor bonus I believe the actual number is around 1.8 1.85 percent uh, 1.85 times um, the base armor effect but the ritual is actually much higher than that. I believe it's, I think it's about four or five times as great as 2%. So I think the base is adds 9% healing done. So the question, of course, now boils down to, is that healing done armor bonus, the 2, 3, 4 piece, that 2% healing done? How much of that is like, what is the basically the kind of equivalent in terms of spell damage? Or what is the spell damage you need in order to basically have that 2% healing done be stronger than the 129 spell damage? So I went ahead and did uh, quite a bit of math actually to try to figure this all out. Um, so we're going to swap over first to bit of supplemental information that I think you guys are going to need in order to kind of understand where my numbers are coming from when we go over the actual mathematics parts of this. So right here I am on my Templar healer build. So this is pretty much uh, more or less what I would usually run on a healer. Obviously the sets are going to change so I might not always wear Old Rime for example. I might not wear Bogdan. I might not wear Infallible Aether. But this kind of gives us a good idea of a rough approximation of general stats. So the stats that I was looking for primarily is going to be Max Magica. Uh, and the reason for that is we are going to be using the skill coefficients uh, in order to kind of really boil down how much spell damage do we need in order for the two percent healing done to be actually better so for every skill there are basically three different components uh to kind of calculating out how much the tooltip uh increases so if we go ahead and look up energy orbs uh here uh, it would help if i put a space so energy orbs as you can see here has two different uh tooltip so it has the healing that you do, and then it also has the synergy heal. So we're interested in, obviously, just the healing that you do with just pure orbs. So this right here would be the actual coefficients. So you have, again, three coefficients, one for magicka, one for spell damage, and then just one just sort of flat increase. Um, so because we're interested in spell damage, I needed the max magicka in order to give myself, basically, to remove one of our unknowns. So once we ha remove that unknown, we'll be able to figure out how much spell damage we need to basically make sure that uh, what get that break-even point where 2% healing done is going to be stronger than 129 spell damage. Um, so I just used the, this particular build, so again, Olorime with Infallible Aether. Again, our max magicka might vary a little bit depending on the sets that we're running. So for example, if I was running, uh, let's say, Olorime and uh, Worm, for instance, I would have an, more max magicka because Worm does have one additional max magicka bonus here. Um, so we're just sticking with this right now. So this is with Warhorn applied, so I automatically went into the buffs and just applied Warhorn, so I got the 10% additional max magicka here. So we're setting about 34,919 max magicka. Now, from there, what I did was I went over uh, to R and basically took a look at all the various, uh, the three main healing moves that you're going to be seeing used. So, uh, if we go ahead and just swap over here to R, 
So this is basically uh, three, again, three of the most popular healing moves that we're going to be using. So on top here, we have energy orbs. In the middle, we have healing springs. And then this bottom one is going to be comet prayer. And then I did just a very generic formula here using that sort of magicka to spell damage ratio there. And again, we are using max magicka of 34,919. Uh, this is, again, based on the build that I have on the UESP build editor. It might not be completely accurate because, again, Depending on the sets we're running, we might have lower or higher max magicka, but it should give us a good sort of jumping point. So the first thing I did was basically we have two values that we want to compare to each other. So the first one on the left hand side, this is with the 2% healing done. So I basically copy pasted the skill coefficients from the skill coefficients page from UESP. And I multiplied that entire thing by 1.02 because this gives us our tooltip. And if we multiply that by 1.02, that's 2% additional healing done. Now, with the addition of things like Minor Mending and uh, Elfborn and Ritual, the actual percentage that you will get out of the 2% healing done is actually going to be a little bit smaller. So this is basically going to be the best case scenario. Um, then on the right hand side, we're just adding in one spell damage armor bonus so that's 129 and it is modified by major and minor sorcery so that's where that 1.3 comes from so we have to multiply that 129 by that 1.3 we're assuming that the spell damage portion here is already affected by major and minor sorcery here and so once we do that we're able to basically algebra it out so we basically multiply everything here by 1.02 we multiply 129 by 1.3 on this line and on this line we basically uh divide uh, not divide out but we basically apply this coefficient to both spell damage and the constant here so we have another constant here and then on this line we just add in these two constants together and then here we basically uh basically move the constants all to one side so we take this uh this constant and just subtract out from this one so that gives us this line here from there we then we calculate out what this value would be since we have our known magicka so this gives us this value and then we have our spell damage and then we have our constant and then if we go ahead and just algebra it out so we subtract this from that divide by this we get our break even point for spell damage which for energy orbs is 49034 Again, do the exact same thing for Healing Springs and for Combat Prayer, which gives us 40,994 for Healing Springs and 5,021 for Combat Prayer. So if your spell damage is higher than this value, that means the healing done bonus is going to be stronger. If it is lower than this value, then the spell damage bonus is going to be stronger. So as you can see here, it's incredibly high spell damage. In fact, pretty much not even pure magic dps are able to hit this level of spell damage. So that 2% healing done is actually very underpowered compared to just raw increases in spell damage overall and that's kind of reflected in the gen general formula that i have here so again the ratio between magicka and spell damage is 10.5 magicka is equal to approximately one spell damage um, so that is basically what we did here so we basically just used this general formula multiplied it by 1.02 and set it equal to again that formula again and just with the additional spell damage bonus of 129 multiplied by major and minor sorcery and we just basically again algebra it all out and we get an overall spell damage of 5,024, which is pretty close to the three values that we have here. Obviously, these three values do have those constant uh, coefficients kind of built in there, which is why these values are always going to be a little bit lower. So this is the theoretical max, uh, because this particular spell damage break even point does not take into consideration uh, these sort of constant coefficients uh, in the skill coefficients equations here. So... Basically, that healing done armor bonus is actually pretty weak compared to 129 additional spell damage from another armor bonus here. So, again, you're not really going to be seeing even a pure magicka DPS. Like, if you're focusing everything you can got you can get on uh, spell damage, you're not going to be able to hit this uh, magicka DPS. We just don't have the same level of uh, spell damage modifiers that stamina DPS stamina dps have with their weapon damage modifiers so it's basically going to be very very difficult in order for that uh, healing done modifier to even get close uh, to matching that 129 additional spell damage now there is one skill where the healing done is going to be stronger and that's just going to be the twilight matriarch on sword healers because pets scale off of max magicka rather than spell damage um, but for pretty much all of your other healing abilities spell damage is going to be much stronger than just that healing done bonus um, so the same thing can be said for max magicka bonuses as well. So, for example, Bogdan has that max magicka bonus versus Earthcore that has a 2% healing done. That the additional max magicka from Bogdan is actually a stronger armor bonus than the 2% healing done that you get from Earthcore. Uh, so, it's something should be done in order to kind of reflect this a little bit. So, let's say we bump it up. Let's say we 
buff it by 100%. So instead of 2% healing done, it's now 4% healing done. That would change this here uh, to 0 0.04 instead. And if we go ahead and just go through all of this and, and go through all that, um, I'm going to do the math down here really fast here. Uh, track out that. Then uh, take this value, divide by 0 0.04. That'll give us 21. 102 spell damage for that break even point so even if you just double the amount that uh the armor bonus does so instead of two percent healing done it's four percent healing done that gives you a little bit more realistic spell damage uh let me move the, my webcam so you guys can see the math that i did uh here uh so that is this portion down here so i basically just um divided this by 0 0.04 rather than 0 0.02 and you can see here uh that it basically cuts it down by a little bit more than half here so that is probably going to be, uh, oh, I forgot, I also would have to kind of modify uh, this value as well. Um, so it would probably be a little bit higher than this, probably probably closer to around 2400, which is actually fairly doable uh, as a healer. So even if you increase it just to 4% healing done, that will give us a little bit more parity between um, healing done and spell damage in terms of the 2, 3, 4 piece armor bonuses there. But as you can see here, as it currently stands at 2% healing done armor bonus, is pretty weak overall um, so something should probably be done to kind of rebalance that out a little bit and also kind of gives you a little bit of perspective as to uh, whether that six percent healing done on Argonians how that translates into just raw spell damage uh, on an Argonian healer compared to let's say like on an Ultima healer for example so that is it for this theory crafting video. Let me know, let me know down in the comment section below if I can clear up any of the mathematics, any of the sort of implications here. Uh, also, let me know if you guys have any sort of ideas on how to buff this healing done armor bonus. Again, I gave the, the easiest one, which is just doubling it, but there might be some other ways you might be able to rebalance uh, the healing done armor bonus that way. So again, hope you guys found this video informative, and I'll see you guys in the next dungeon.